Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Update. Alright, so boring, really really boring and uh, it, it makes me very sleepy. It's making me too much sleepy, like seriously bro. You know, I'm looking at uh, coin market cap right now and there's so many things. Uh, the trend, what's trending is Solana, number one. I don't know what uh, this trend is based on. Number two is Ethereum followed by Bitcoin. So Solana has been on top of the name for a long time. And uh, you can see some of the altcoins are actually booming for the past 24 hours. Oh, hi there. London Classic is also right on the charts right here. And we got so many things going on, but I still don't understand why Bitcoin itself isn't doing anything. So it seems like, uh, you know, the sideways of, of Bitcoin uh, interprets into one thing. So we do, first of all, we have a technical target to come down to 16,439. You do have this uh, flag right here and break out of that flag and you could be looking for 16,500, nearly 16,400. Let's just say this zone right there is where we're looking for Bitcoin to drop because it's clear, uh, you know, we, we're looking for a retest here. Who knows, you can actually pause the retest, by the way. You haven't really retested properly. So there are chances of moving to uh, 17,000, even break this 17,000. Who knows, you can pause the retest and just go up, okay? We haven't really failed the retest to go down just yet. Now at the moment, um, what I wanted to say is that every single candle here is, like for example, this green candle means a pump for one altcoin and one red candle could be a dump for another coin. Now for example, if I show you Jasmine here, um, one red candle of Bitcoin made Jasmine move down, right? And uh, one pump of Bitcoin made uh, a coin like maybe Rune, to move higher you can see that right so it's trying to move higher so that's how I think uh, you know it's a very mixed up market and you know you cannot really trade nicely in this environment it's just when you have so many confusions out there in the market you just don't know if you want to jump or if you want to sit or if you want to crawl or if you want to run or if you want to walk it just makes it so damn difficult everything is kind of messed up you know it's from from this point onwards uh, it's moving sideways but you know what flash news i think bitcoin is trying to act very very tough here it's trying to act like like if oh i'm so unpredictable you guys cannot predict me and i think that i can predict you bitcoin i mean most of the time i can predict you of course sometimes you win but most of the time you still are under our control due to the thanks to the charts by the way i, I, I really love the charts you know this tradingview.com whoever created it kudos man i like it, reading these candles but this time around whenever i was reading these candles i felt really really sleepy because it's too boring too boring right now. Uh, the thing is that on the four hour time frame, it's acting really, really tough on a higher time frame again. As I said, for the, for many, many ages now, $8,500 is something that is coming in. Now, by the way, it's not going to be a very uh, lengthy update, but I think uh, in the next coming updates, there's something important that I'm going to talk about Bitcoin that I just noticed, and I've never talked about that pattern before and it's going to be important to talk about Bitcoin so that's probably going to be a good news for uh, in, a, in a long time I saw something that is super super amazing I kind of feel like it should be a secret by the way but let's see okay maybe I might just keep it secret and that's pretty much it for this update on Bitcoin I'm gonna see you the next one I love it